Unversed. <laughs> I'll take you on. Look out! Huh? <laughs> And thanks for piping up back there. I mean it. The name's Terra. It's nice to meet you, Terra. What are you nuts, running out onto the course like that? Yeah, that's against the rules! I'm sure you had your reasons, but I can't say that I approve either. Well, rules don't apply when you're up against the unversed. Rules don't apply? You sound just like Pete! Look, it's Captain Dark! Disguised in shadows, the rogue racer reigns! I am Captain Dark! And you must be the chump who made me miss a new track record! Hold on, how's come I don't know you? Somebody bringing in a ringer? Ah, oh, I'm not even a racer. Must be downright temptatious to try and stop a primo racer like me from getting a record, but we all gotta play by the rules, rookie. Now, just a second! You're the no-good cheater who's always breaking the rules! Well, I can't say racing interests me, but I need to defeat the Unversed. Tell me what I've got to do. Are you talking about all those carts that look like scary, ugly monsters? Hmm. Hmm. Well, we've only ever seen the monsters on the track. That's it! Terra, you just need to enter the races! And while you're at it, take that Captain Dark down a notch or two. He's always breaking the rules and causing trouble. I have to become a racer? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now I'm sure I don't have to tell you. I know. I'll play by the rules. Oh. Yay! Terror's gonna be a new racer! Just come talk to me whenever you're ready. I'll get you signed up and everything!
Oh, my cart must have sprung a spring. You yahoos just wait. Next time, I'll clobber all of you. Yippee! I hope he's gone for good. Nobody's gonna vote for a weasel like you, Pete. Pete? Vote? What are you talking about? Chip means the Million Dreams Award. It's a very popular part of our dream festival. Everyone in town votes for who we think is the most exemplary citizen. And since everybody knows how much of a troublemaker Pete is, he probably figured wearing a disguise was the only way he'd get any votes. No votes, no prize. Yeah, the prize is all he really wants anyway. He doesn't care about being a good citizen. Oh, I think that's very sad. The award is supposed to help us appreciate how much we all look out for each other every day. Well, one thing I know for sure, I'm voting for Terra. Your racing really saved the day against those monster carts. Hip, hip, hooray for Terra! <laughs> well, I got something out of it too. I learned that you don't always have to bend the rules to reach your goals. <laughs> All this time, I've been staring into the darkness. But... That doesn't mean I have to jump in. The mask of peace and hope. Comes the fearless defender and hero of this town. It is me, Captain Giastet. Uh, um. Young fellow, do my hero senses detect that you got troubles? Just say the word, and Captain Justice will make all your problems disappear. Uh, uh, who, who, me? Meow. I'm just trying to make some friends. Never mind. Forget it. Don't be intimidated by my magnificence. Go on and spit it out. Then remember to vote Captain J. Vote? No. Oh, well, uh, forget that. How can I help? That's the only reason I'm here. Hmm. I know. Tell me about your town. Everything's so festive. Is it always like this? Huh? That's it? Nothing else? Well, the festivities are on account of the Dream Festival, which is why I made sure there's carnival stuff all over town. Really? Like what? Oh, you gotta see it for yourself. Wouldn't be much of a dream if I just told you. Right. Thanks. And kid, don't you go forgetting. Captain Justice is the one who solved all your problems. That would be Justice with a J. Uh, sure. I got it, Captain Justice. Ah, oh, Philly, this stinks! Now we can't open the ice cream shop. Trouble? Rescue is on the way! A festival, huh? Well, maybe I can make some new friends.
Well, if it ain't the last kid Captain Justice saved, afraid you'll have to get in line. I'm working on another catastrophe here for these fellas. Huey, Dewey, and Louie were good friends. Now, I'd hardly call it a catastrophe. Yeah, all we were trying to do was make our own special recipe ice cream. And we had a little trouble. Come on, it's not really that big a deal. I'm 100% positive you're the victims of sabotage. Not even close. Quit making stuff up. It's just the ice cream machine. Uncle Scrooge left it for us, but we can't figure out how it works because it's so complicated. Oh, we're sorry, Queen Minnie. We wanted you to be the first to try our special recipe ice cream. Oh, boys. It was very sweet of you to think of me. We tried. Say no more. Leave it to me. One bowl of ice cream coming right up. You're just going to make a mess. Leave it alone, Pete. That's Captain Justice. Ooh, this machine is busted. It just needs a good pounding. It does not. Hey, do you think I could give it a shot? No, Captain Justice can't fix it. There ain't nothing you can do, kid. Maybe not, but there's no harm in trying. Yeah, and better you than him. Here you go. These are the directions for the machine. kid might have got it to work this one time, but junk like that needs to get junked. Don't you dare, no. Pete! Fine, but Captain Justice will return! About Captain Justice, you said his name is Pete? Yeah, he's the biggest troublemaker in town! I bet he's just calling himself Captain Justice because he wants to win the Million Dreams Award. What's the Million Dreams Award? That's one of the Dream Festival events. Everyone votes for who they think is the town's most exemplary citizen. I get it. So that's what he meant by vote. And if you win the award, you get a really cool prize! Oh, it's just a small token. Nothing elaborate. 
the event is supposed to help us appreciate how much we all look out for each other every day. That's the spirit of the award. Well, that sounds nice enough. He just wants to get his grubby hands on the prize. And he knows that nobody's gonna vote for him if he puts his own name on the ballot. But nobody's fooled. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Wish somebody was looking out for me. The mask of peace and hope. Comes the fearless defender and hero of this town. It is me, Captain Justice. Huh? What? Now listen, you pipsqueak. I'm Captain Justice. Who are you to walk away when the bona fide hero is offering his help? Um, I'm sorry, but I really don't need any kind of hero. Bona fide or. So What's that? Trouble? Captain Justice to the rescue! You? Oh, I know that's a shame. Where is it? Maybe this job's perfect for you, Mr. Hero. What? Name your catastrophe! Those annoying monsters have turned up again over in Fruitball Plaza. They're all yours now, Captain J. Monsters? Don't tell me the Unfirst are here. Monsters? Well, too bad. Not on my list. I didn't know bona fide heroes got to pick. But I wouldn't stand a chance of surviving. Uh, 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 fitting them into my schedule. Gosh, I thought you said you were Captain Justice. You can't leave those menacing things running loose. They're ruining fruit ball. Huh? Hark, do you hear that? Somebody's calling for Captain Justice's help. Do not fear, I am on my way. Sounds like this catastrophe can't wait, but uh, I'll be back here in a jiff. Oh, I'm sure you will, Captain Useless. But I don't think I'll stay here and hold my breath. I'm anything but a hero, but maybe I could help if you want. Would you? Oh, that'd be just Jim Dandy. Someone needs to trounce those fiends at Fruit Ball and keep them away from the plaza. I'll try. Just give a holler once you're ready, and I'll explain to you how Fruit Ball works.
Now you sure taught those monsters a lesson. You're the real hero in town if you ask me. He's right, my dear. I couldn't agree more. Thank you so much. Who are you? I'm Minnie. And she's our queen. Oh, please excuse me, your majesty. Where are my manners? My name is Aqua. There's no need to be so formal. Just call me Minnie. <sighs> you see, I'm not sure I'm doing a very good job protecting my kingdom. Oh, don't say that, Queen Minnie. We all know how hard it's been since the king set off the way he did. Don't you trouble yourself. Why, we wouldn't even think of putting on our yearly dream festival if we thought there was the slightest chance anything might go wrong. Oh, you're very kind, Horace. How about that Pete, though? Captain Justice, my hide. You can't count on him for anything. Wait, you're saying his real name is Pete? Well, it sure as sugar isn't justice. Pete never does anything for anybody except Pete. That get up was just an act to get folks to vote for him. He wants to win the Million Dreams Award and hog the prize. Million Dreams Award? What is that? It's part of our dream festival. We all vote for who we think the most admirable citizen is. But Pete seems to have the wrong idea. He thinks that dressing up as a hero and proclaiming that he is one will win him votes. What really makes someone a hero isn't what they wear or what they say. It's the things they do and how they treat everyone. Well, in my book, Aqua here is number one. You got my heartfelt vote. <sighs> Thanks, Horace. I promise I'll try not to let you down. See that you don't. My vote's very important. Oh dear, he sounds serious. <laughs> Being popular is tough. Who do you think's gonna win this year's Million Dreams Award? Boy, oh boy! I hope it's the guy I voted for! I voted for him too! Now that we got so much business at the shop, maybe we'll be number one! Wow, I guess good sure would be proud of us if we actually won. Yeah, and I bet Uncle Donald would be pretty surprised too. Hello everyone, and thank you for waiting. Now it's time to begin the main event of our dream festival. The Million Dreams Award Presentation. <laughs> Just skip to the part where you say my name. This is a shoe in. Oh, how very exciting! This year, we have multiple winners. The Million Dreams Award goes to... Ventus, Aqua, and Terra. All three of you. You mean Ven and Tara were here? What do you mean? <laughs> There's gotta be a mistake. Everybody voted for Captain Justice. I made sure. Now go on, tell her. No. <laughs> Better try the other one. The Rogue Racer, Captain Dark. We counted the votes very carefully. Ventus, Aqua, and Terra won. Oh, Pete, I think you tried to do something good, but you were doing it for the wrong reasons, and you went about it the wrong way. Still, a couple of citizens must have thought you had goodness in you because you actually got a few votes. They knew you were looking out for them. Big whoop. I don't need their lousy votes. Just cough up my prize. They voted for you because they believe in you and care about you. How could you look down on that? I've tried to forgive a lot of things you've done, but this is too much. Now you've finally crossed the line. 
Like that matters to me. Besides, what are you going to do about it? Huh. I'm going to let you cool off for a while. Guards! Wait, wait, what? Hey, let me go. Put me down. What? No, you can't. No, no, no. Hey, easy. Oh! Now, shall we continue the ceremony? With the three winners, Ventus, Aqua, and Terra, please come up and join me on the stage. Oh, dear. It looks like our other two winners couldn't make it here to be with us today. I must have just missed them. Perhaps you would accept the award on their behalf. After all, you've been so kind to so many here at the Dream Festival. So now, I hereby present the Million Dreams Award as a token of how much you matter to us. Congratulations! <laughs> Thank you, everyone. And as an extra treat, we've created something special. An ice cream flavor just for you. Royal Berry Ice Cream! Oh my, I wish I had my own ice cream flavor. What's it taste like? Go on, try it! you think? Delicious. You couldn't have picked a better flavor. Oh, we're all very glad you're enjoying it. <laughs> oh dear, it looks like our other two winners couldn't make it here to be with us today. They both already left. Perhaps you would accept the award on their behalf. After all, you've been so kind to so many here at the Dream Festival. So now, I hereby present the Million Dreams Award as a token of how much you matter to us. Congratulations! And as an extra treat, we've created something special. Ice cream flavor just for you. Double Crunch Ice Cream. Oh my, I wish I had my own ice cream flavor. What's it taste like? Go on, try it. What do you think? Wow! It's great! Oh, we're all very glad you're enjoying it! <laughs> oh dear! It looks like our other two winners couldn't make it here to be with us today! Perhaps you would accept the award on their behalf. After all, you've been so kind to so many here at the Dream Festival. So now, I hereby present the Million Dreams Award as a token of how much you matter to us. Congratulations! Thanks. And as an extra treat, we've created something special. Ice cream flavor just for you. Rock and Crunch ice cream. Oh my, I wish I had my own ice cream flavor. What's it taste like? Go on, try it. What 
do you think? Hmm, this is fantastic. Oh, we're all very glad you're enjoying it. No, <laughs> who does she think she is to be in a place like this? Well, I'll just bust out of here and... Quiet, fool. You do not possess that kind of power. Who? Who's there? Show yourself! That is enough. Stop your sniveling and heed my words. Um, okay. If you do exactly as I say, I may decide to release you from this prison. Really? Oh, then you can count on me. Just get me out of here, and you can tell me what to do. A very wise choice indeed. Now, proceed. With your help, soon every world in existence will all be mine. 